Welcome back. So this is the second lecture. And in this lecture, we're going to talk about variables. So what is variables in Java and how we can use them? So variables are used to store the values. It is just like a container that is used to store some type of values. We have different types of values. That is why in Java, we have various data types. Now, these data types are used to store different types of values, like to store the uh, integer value, we have int. For characters, we have character. For string, we have, for word, we have string. For boolean, uh, for true and false values, we have bool, is boolean, and so on and so forth. Now, how variable works behind the scene? Well, when we declare the variable, which we will declare in the IDE, uh, what happened uh, a declaration means no initialization there is nothing assigned to the value just declare just it allocate the space in the memory this space is empty it only contains address which make it unique similarly for a last name which is the second variable another space is allocated and when i initialize this variable now this uh, space that is allocated is now anymore empty it is now filled with the value headerly and similarly with the last name Siri. All right. So that's how it works behind the scenes, the variables. When we create the value, the space is created. So that's why we need a memory to, uh, in order to create a variables. All right. So as much variables you create, as much space would be allocated in your, in your RAM. Okay. In your RAM. Yeah. Random access memory, not in your ROM, read only memory. Well, this is another topic. So this is enough for the theory. Let's jump into IDE right now. In the last lecture, I show you how you can create your first Hello World code. So in this, we're going to talk about variables. So let's suppose uh, there's a person and we want to store the data of that person. So how we can do that? Well, we will use definitely variables. Now, this person has a name, H, height, ID. So we have different data types, like for H we have, which is a number, we have integer. So let's start from a name. So his name is, let's suppose his first name is something called Heather. His last name is, let's suppose, something called Ali, which means me, okay, by the way. Now string is a class. And string is used to store the word more than one character. In order to store one character, you need to use char, which is uh, like this, char, char. But uh, we don't need a char, all right? We don't need a char. So now we need another variable, integer, because we want to store int, h. And h is an integer because it is integer, all right? 20. Height, okay? Height contains a decimal. In order to store a decimal values, we have a double. All right. Now, height would be definitely in decimal. In my case, 5.9. So now we want to print this out. So how we can do that? Very simple. Sout plus tab. Uh, we can concatenate first name and last name uh, using a special operator. This is concatenation operator plus. So if you use a plus, you can uh, combine more than one strings. Okay. Name plus header Ali. All right. Sorry. And H and height. So header Ali is uh is a male and he is 20 and his h e i g h t height is this so as you can see we can combine many stuffs in just uh, one 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 line of code just by using this concatenation all right so we can say we can run that code so when we run that code uh, there's a compilation process, translating, and uh, there we go. Heather Lee is a male, and he's 20, and his height is 5.9.
So this is how we can create variables and use of variables in Java. So see you in the next lecture.